uh, welcome back friends in this video we will learn how to link our how sorry how, not how to link how to install the wordpress on our website in the last video we have learned how to link a domain name along with the my hosting so post that your cpanel must have came you just now to need to log into your cpanel the login credentials of the cpanel must be in the same mail from where you have picked your name server when you scroll down you would find somewhere written the id and password for your cpanel fine once you have logged into your cpanel you just need to search either the term wordpress or softaculous that would be somewhere in the bottom uh, let me scroll down yeah it's out here you can see softaculous app installer either this may be written in your cpanel or it might be written as wordpress click on it like in my case softaculous is appearing so i need to get into this folder and then i would find wordpress fine now i need to install the wordpress i'll click on the link install post clicking this link this screen would appear in front of me the first uh, section allows us to choose how do we want our website to appear like it uh, do we want our website to appear like www dot your domain name or just directly your domain name you can choose between these two whichever you want and if you're having an SSL certification that is HTTPS certification you can choose from here fine this would be your domain name and remember guys don't forget to delete this WP fine if you're installing it for the first time don't forget to delete this WP fine moving ahead we just need to name our website like it can my website can be a blog can be an e-commerce can be anything so for just for for the understanding of the customer what is my website all about and what's my name and description you can just write out here so that would appear in your website this is your login credentials of your WordPress you can change your name your password anything just Remember whatever password you have written else it would be very hard for you to again reinstall this Fine This is this is your email uh, admin email ID where your administrative mail should be going Fine and the bottom you can provide your own secondary email ID where the installation details are gone so that tomorrow if you are Stuck with some problem you can retrieve your functionalities fine so just need to enter your email id out here fine and i'll click on install as soon as i'll click on install uh, i won't be clicking it because on my website already the wordpress has been installed so you just need to click on install and your wordpress would be installed and once your wordpress is installed you just need to type in your search bar like my domain name is valet shopping slash wp dash a d m i n fine every time whenever you need to log into your wordpress website you need to manually enter this wp admin so either you can make it as a bookmark or anything fine so out here is the same id and password which you might have entered out here this is same id and password which i have entered out there and based on that if i'll click i will enter in my dashboard of my wordpress website fine this is my dashboard my dashboard appearance might be a bit different from yours because i have been using this dashboard since a very long time so uh, it would be a bit different but the main thing is that in this dashboard only you would be learning how to make your entire pages and post on your websites so in my next video i'll teach you how to install a theme on your wordpress website based on which you would be designing your pages and post and everything okay fine hope to see you in our next video